From the first blowout preventer to the first subsea tree, Cooper Cameron has pioneered many of the things you take for granted today. And as the industry's only supplier of drilling, completion, production, and compression equipment systems, we offer far more than isolated products. Our service solutions are often just as important as our manufactured goods. And now you can get Cooper Cameron dependability in pre-engineered, cost-optimized product lines with all the flexibility of custom-made. Innovative products, responsive, knowledgeable people, packaged systems, add it all up and there's only one answer, Cooper Cameron. Nobody covers the oil field better. The challenge is to bring a newly discovered deep water reservoir on stream quickly and with minimal expense. Also needed is flexibility for efficient development of a second undefined reservoir located nearby. Reservoir A lies beneath 6,000 feet of water and has estimated reserves of 250 million equivalent barrels of oil. The development plan for Reservoir A is to drill five producing wells, which will then be connected to a manifold and finally to a floating production storage and offloading facility. The FPSO will separate commercial quantities of crude oil and natural gas, store the crude for offloading to shuttle tankers, and redirect the natural gas to a subsea pipeline for transportation to an onshore processing plant. A second reservoir B is located nearby and may be developed in the future. Although undefined at this time, reservoir B is thought to contain approximately 150 million equivalent barrels of oil in 6,500 feet of water. Reservoir A plan should provide flexibility for developing this resource as dictated by crude oil supply and demand. An STM wellhead's 18 and 3 quarter inch high pressure housing featuring the new Cameron DWHC connector profile is lowered into the 30 inch conductor housing which already has been set in the ocean floor. The extra strong DWHC profile is specifically designed to withstand the severe bending moments of ultra deep water projects. The passively activated preloaded lockdown system provides two point contact for proper alignment and effectively transfers axial and bending loads into the conductor housing. Passive activation means the lockdown happens automatically and most importantly without an extra trip of the running tool. Once the housing is locked in position, the conductor pipe can be cemented in place. A guidelineless five cavity TL BOP is lowered into position on the DWHC connector profile of the wellhead. Cameron invented blowout preventers in 1922 and has built more than all other suppliers combined. Our broad product line allows drilling contractors to safely anticipate and handle the widest possible array of reservoir and formation conditions. The TLBOP's innovative side ram removal feature reduces BOP height requirements and saves valuable rig time. Note the small size and footprint of the drilling control pods from Cameron Controls. This is made possible by use of miniaturized components that require less space and have lower power requirements. Low voltage solenoids eliminate the need for a bulky transformer. The lightweight control pods are totally ROV retrievable. If service is necessary, the ROV connects a wire line to the top of the pod and guides it away from the riser. Wet make-break connectors automatically disconnect as the pod pulls away and easily reconnect after service is performed. More than 75% of all subsea drilling controls sold in 1997 were by Cameron Controls. While two million pounds of applied tension load might have been sufficient for yesterday's subsea wells, Cameron's new Load King riser systems will handle the 3.5 million pound loads of today's deep water projects. The rules are different when you're drilling in deep water and Load King can take additional tension loads without adding significant riser joint weight. Its raised flange design reduces bolt stress and it has a joint makeup time of only two minutes. After the BOP stack is landed and locked down on the wellhead, electrohydraulic signals are sent from the control panel on the drilling rig to the control pod mounted on the BOP and then to the BOP rams. Fixed bore pipe rams can be closed on a test tool as part of this test sequence. Pressure is then applied down either the choke or kill line. 
The new BBR2 Ram Packer features a unique curvilinear insert called cam curve that adjusts automatically to form an iris around drill pipe of different sizes. This reduces the need for ram or packer changes and provides uniform sealing pressure with virtually no extrusion paths for longer packer life. The seven inch casing hanger is landed in the STM wellhead using Cameron's efficient and field proven Chassart running tool. Other manufacturers tools pressurize the BOP stack to pump casing hanger seals down which drives and deforms the seals into a bowl type cavity. Cameron's system sets seal assemblies by pressurizing down the drill pipe, which allows seals to set naturally before stack pressure is applied. Parallel bore metal seals are used between the casing hanger and the high pressure housing to provide metal sealing from above or below. This means bi-directional sealing without loss of sealing contact pressure, which can occur with other systems using tapered seal surfaces. Once drilling is complete and casing has been cemented, the BOP is pulled to make way for the Christmas tree. Cameron engineers have developed a way to park the BOP using a freestanding Load King riser system, which eliminates the need to retrieve the riser and stack back to the surface, disassembling it section by section. The BOP is disconnected from the wellhead and moved by the drilling rig to a parking stump positioned nearby. After a shallow water disconnect from the riser, the rig returns to its previous position over the well. Buoyancy materials and air tanks allow the riser to float in a fixed vertical position until it's needed for final completion of the production tubing. The heart of a subsea production system is the Christmas tree, and Cameron offers two highly reliable and feature-rich trees as part of its pre-engineered mosaic system. One of these is the patented spool tree Christmas tree. Since its introduction in 1992, spool tree has revolutionized the subsea industry. The spool tree system's unique wellhead tree hanger arrangement lands the tubing hanger on a dedicated shoulder in the tree. This saves significant rig time by allowing completion and workover operations to be performed with the tree in place and flow lines undisturbed. The horizontal valve assembly provides an unobstructed vertical path to the well. Gate valves can't be damaged by wireline tools because wireline tools are not run through them in the spool tree design. The procedure for locking down the spool tree to the wellhead is simple and reliable. All spool tree connector hydraulics are contained in the running tool, which means that no hydraulic cylinders are exposed to subsea conditions long term. An ROV backup lock is available should the primary locking device fail. The drilling rig now moves over the parked freestanding riser and BOP assembly. The upper riser section with a collet connector and non-sealing shear ram is lowered over the parked lower riser section. Once the collet connector locks around a mandrel hub on the lower section, the entire riser BOP stack is picked up and moved back in position over the well. The riser and BOP are lowered and connected to the top of the spool tree Christmas tree. This saves several days of valuable rig time over the more conventional procedure of pulling the riser and BOP to the surface. The spool tree body can be machined with a choice of three 18 and 3 quarter inch connector profiles on top for use with a standard blowout preventer. In fact, with spool tree, all completion activities can be performed under full BOP control. The spool tree design lands the tubing hanger in the tree with full bore vertical access under BOP protection. Not only does that simplify initial installation, but provides significant workover cost savings as well. Modular pre-engineered tubing hangers in the mosaic system accommodate from one to six hydraulic ports and two electrical ports for downhole smart well equipment. Subsea production control equipment from Cameron Controls utilizes a total system view of field development needs. All installation and service requirements are handled on the ocean floor without returning the ROV to the surface. 
A unique multi-mode running tool is used to install control pods, chokes, and other control elements in the Mosaic system. Here, the MMRT is picking up a Cameron Willis sub-C choke from the ROV cage and installing it on the Christmas tree. Since 1975, more than 400 Cameron Willis sub-C chokes have been installed worldwide. Cameron's new generation sub-C production control system is compact, lightweight, dependable, and easy to install. Control pods can contain circuitry and valving for tree and manifold valve control, choke adjustment, position indication, and feedback and monitoring of system pressures and temperatures. Our proprietary subsea control module design can accommodate up to 32 hydraulic functions in a compact unit that weighs only 500 kilograms. Cameron's patented HydroQuad coupler and innovative four-way valve block design allows reliable operation in minimum space. Once the Christmas trees are installed, an ROV is used to run control jumpers. A jumper deployment basket has been conveniently positioned, allowing the ROV to pick up each cable in sequence and plug it in the desired component. In this scene, the ROV connects a subsea distribution unit mounted on a manifold to a Christmas tree. Cameron is one of the world's leading suppliers of manifolds to gather, balance, and distribute the output of a field. Manifolds are also designed to isolate wells for workover. Cameron manifolds feature reliable large bore gate and ball valves and, if required, can include retrievable insert chokes and control modules. Cameron subsea manifolds are remotely operable, piggable, and modular in the sense that expansion comes through additional valve block assemblies. They are deployable from the drilling rig or from separate construction vessels. Here, a jumper is used to connect a manifold to a pipeline end module, or PLEM, which will convey the product to its commercial destination. The connector shown is a horizontal connector, one of four modular approaches employed in Cameron's mosaic system to reduce upfront engineering time and save money. Now we're ready to begin the flow of our crude oil and gas to an FPSO or floating production, storage, and offloading facility. Manifold valves are opened remotely to release hydrocarbons into the production header and pipeline to the FPSO. After separation of gas from the oil and water, the oil is stored in the FPSO for transfer to tanker ships, and the gas is compressed for transport to an onshore processing plant. A WKM 370 D4 ball valve is used at the inlet side of the separator, while WKM 370 E4 valves control the outlets. The split-body take-apart design of the WKM Dynaseal 370 series allows complete repairs to be made in the field without special tools. Upstream and downstream of the compressor is the unique orbit valve. The cam action design of this trunnion style valve mechanically energizes the seal while providing friction-free opening and closing. This eliminates seal rubbing, a primary cause of valve failure. At the oil storage tanks, an Ajax rotary screw compressor from Cooper Energy Services removes gas vapor and transfers it back to the gas sales line. High reliability, low initial cost, and pulsation-free operation make Ajax rotary screw compressors ideal for vapor recovery and many other applications. In order to get our gas to an onshore processing plant, it's compressed using a Cooper Roll CR501 gas turbine system with a 5,500 horsepower Allison engine. This system is lightweight and has a compact footprint for use on offshore platforms and floating facilities. Its modular, low-maintenance components are packaged with an Entronic control system from Cooper Energy Services for precise control of critical engine and compressor functions including surge protection. The Cooper Rolls gas turbine drives a reliable Cooper Bessemer RCB14 centrifugal compressor. 
More than 800 Cooper Bessemer pipeliners have been installed since 1955. The RCB-14 meets API Standard 617 and features advanced dry gas seal technology. Cameron's famous all-welded ball valve is one of the most trusted valves in the petroleum industry. Its compact spherical design provides maximum strength with minimum weight and eliminates leak paths. Cameron ball valves are also used on the FPSO in a pig launching system. The full bore valve opening allows the pig to pass through without restriction. Gas flows through the subsea pipeline to the onshore processing plant. As the gas follows the path of the pipe pig, we pass through several Cameron subsea ball valves with ROV control panels. Produced gas arrives at an onshore plant where it is processed and then compressed for delivery by three superior 2416G engines and WH64 compressors. These perfectly matched sets from Cooper Energy Services provide dependable performance, high efficiency and the advantages of a single source for parts, service and support. Advanced Clean Burn 3 controls on the superior engines dramatically reduce emissions. They also reduce maintenance costs and provide off-site monitoring, data acquisition and parametric trending. Each superior engine compressor set is controlled by an Entronic Flexitrend FT50 digital control module which is networked to a centralized Entronic FT210 performance evaluation system. This provides real-time control, trending, maintenance information, and communication functions in a PC-based system using readily available personal computer hardware. The field is on stream and producing commercial quantities of oil and gas in record time thanks to the dedicated people and innovative products and services of Cooper Cameron. And due to the modular and expandable product systems used in Reservoir A, the nearby Reservoir B can be developed quickly and at minimal cost when market conditions dictate. From comprehensive drilling and subsea production completion systems to gas compression and process control equipment, nobody covers the oil field better than Cooper Cameron.